Hey guys, welcome to TechWave. It's finally time to take this PS4 Pro apart. So I got you guys situated there. I'll get you up higher so you can look down. I have my nicer camera here so I can get pictures of the motherboard because that's obviously the most important part. So we can take a look around that. And I, I'm very excited. I do not have any guide to open this thing. So I think I'm just going to go ahead blind and try to get it apart without any issues. I figure while I'm in there, because I noticed it was loud, I already tested it. It works fine. Uh, I figure I would also put some MX4 thermal compound on there for whatever cheap crap and you know, Sony put on there and maybe that'll help with the fan. It probably won't. I mean, this thing's pretty powerful for being in a tiny box. So, but with that guys, let's get started. Let's get this guy apart. All right, guys, I got you up top here. Um, like I said, I'll take pictures of it as we go along for anything really important. Now, from what I remember, I've only had to do a hard drive change in one of these before. So I do know the hard drive comes out of the back here, which is pretty, pretty easy to do. So if you are trying to change your hard drive in this for whatever reason, there is actually a tab here that pulls right out, it's just a piece of plastic. And then it just opens up to a Phillips head screw that's very similar to the PS3 screw, or the PS4 I should say, right, the same design. And that's just a terabyte drive, it's upside down so you really can't see, but this is the terabyte drive from the PS4 Pro. And of course they're nice enough to give us, I took the warranty stickers off here and here, Nice enough to give us T8 screws, which a lot of people hate because they're security bit. But of course, I think I have every screwdriver known to man, so this is not a problem for me. I will also say I do like the design here on the bottom. It might be a little hard for you to see, so I'll get you a picture of it. But it actually has like the circle, the X, the square, and the triangle as the rubber feet on the bottom. I actually like that idea. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, hopefully the back just comes right off because I don't see any of the screws here. So hopefully with that, we can get this guy apart from here. There we go. It's just like clipped in with like uh, with clips around the edges here. Very similar. The PS4 did the same exact thing actually. So there we go. Comes right off. Look at that. We're already in. Just trying to get the motherboard out. So I see a lot of ribbon cables right away. <laughs> a lot of ribbon cables over here. Uh, it does have AC wireless, which usually uses like a, like a three antenna job so you see it has three antennas which should be the black and then you have the white here um for more like the bluetooth larger fan that i'm noticing than the ps4 original so i like that i like the idea of a larger fan let's see if there's any way to get in on the other side before i start doing this a lot of times the other ps4 there was nothing holding it down it was just really just clipped in so i don't think there's a way in from here i'm just gonna stick with underside Sure you guys had a lot of fun me trying to figure this out. <laughs> uh, again, T8, I do see some smaller Phillips here. But the good news is the board is right here. So maybe the board comes out easier than the PS4 regular. The only thing I'd be concerned about is if you do need to get the disk drive, you may need to pull the whole motherboard out. But we'll, we'll see as we go along here. right here the other PS, like regular ps4s you have to take everything apart wow wow okay that's something i was not expecting that <laughs> look at this thing it has like a full like clamp on the back wow wow okay that's all right so they would do this guys to prevent board flex usually and that was one of the big key problems with the 360 if you remember where it would get the red rings that's because the board would flex a lot and look at this, they have an entire metal <laughs> support structure here that I assume ties to the heatsink on the other side, and there's several screws all around it. That's probably how hot this GPU gets. It is able to probably flex this board, because remember it has a uh, 4 point, oh I should look that up for it. It's either 4.2 or 4.3, I think it's 4.3 teraflops running through this guy. So, a bunch of little black screws here. And then I guess it comes right out because I don't I still don't see anything else that would be holding this board down to the drive. Again, the only problem with that guys is you probably have to take this entire board out to get to the drive. So if don't jam anything in your drive, otherwise you're gonna be doing what I'm doing now. Although 
I will say this has not been that hard. Just do not slip your screwdriver when you're working on this because you can damage something on the board easily. We also have, looks like the eject button is also a push button one here that's connected. Fan here also, that's a much, it's actually a bigger fan plug than the PS4 as well. All right, so we're gonna carefully, using like a fingernail, get this guy up. It's like I can get in right here. There we go, guy okay, popped up. Okay, so this is, all right, so this acts as a clamp, guys, and it also acts as partially a heat sink for the RAM. That's why you see all these little sponge pads all the way around. That's all from the RAM. So, not not a bad idea by Sony. That's actually a good thing. Then we have what, what I guess would be their version of the X clamp, as you can see here. That's not, it's, it's definitely better than Microsoft's plan for the 360, and even the Xbox One uses an X clamp as well. I like the idea of these screws going through for tension. That's a good idea. Um, again, though, more stuff needs to come out just to get to the board out. So what appeared to be an easy removal is becoming uh, a little redundant here. But I can tell you it does look like Sony actually took some precautions with this, uh, which is awesome. That's actually really cool because the original PS4 did not have a lot of support structure around this GPU. So I would actually have to reball PS4s a lot, believe it or not. That was that was a thing. And another support structure. Hopefully I'm finally out. Jeez. And it's, of course, it's stuck. Okay, there we go. Cool. So we got all power transistors on the back. That's great. Uh, nothing is stopping me from... I'm going to unplug this fan just in case I I do something to it. There we go. Okay, good. Nothing stopped me from taking it out. I think we can get this board out now. So you'd want to take it from the front because back here, this is usually in, into the like where the ports are. There we go. That's up. Something still feels a little... Like it's snagged on something. Oh, it's the power. Oh, no. Do I really have to get on the other side to get this out? Oh, no. Okay, it comes right out. There we go. I'm out. I'm free. Carefully. Oh, no. Look, the cable's plugged in from the back. I must have to take it off from the other side. Ah, eh, whatever. I can, I can unclip it for now. I can get there. Unless they really want me to do something really stupid to get it out. This will be one of the situations, guys, where I would do, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Look up how to take these apart first. <laughs> that would have probably made my journey here a lot easier. However, I'm this far. I'm just going to pop this guy out and be done with it. There we go. All right. That's why you don't do as I... Like I said, that's why you don't do what I do. <laughs> See, this guy here, not a big deal because it unbends. But that could have been really bad if I didn't know what I was doing right there, obviously. I had no idea what I was doing, <laughs> but that's fine. So this is uh, this is the inside of it here. I do like, I'm going to say this now, because this is not what the other PS, the regular PS4 is like. I like the, what appears to be, oh, I got compound on me, uh, straight copper to die. I like that a lot. And this is a good looking part here. I, I must have missed how I would have gone about getting to the power supply, which is under here. Unless it is just supposed to come up like that, but that seems really, really dumb to do it that way uh fans here and now looking at the fan it looks like the same type of fan that was with the uh the ps4 it does not actually look that much bigger now i'm looking at it it's just a little guy here that's not bad that's not a bad little setup there uh, again i think i probably had to have taken the back off somehow uh one of you guys can probably look up how i was supposed to do it and this is how i ended up doing it <laughs> so but Let's look at what we came here for, and that's the motherboard. Now, I'm noticing right away that the the RAM is actually on the opposite side of the motherboard. Isn't that interesting? So here's the here's the very large, it's actually a pretty large die. Again, I'll get you some high definition shots of it anyway, so you guys can see it. But the die is on this side. A lot of, oh my gosh, look at all the transit, like everything going on there is ridiculous. I'll get you a decent shot of it, but, and on the back here, is all of our RAM. Now there's supposed to be a DDR3 slot somewhere too. So we have all of our large RAM here. This is all of our DDR GDR5. Oh, I keep getting compound on me. Um, and that's eight modules, which makes sense because it's eight gigs. So you'd get a gig each more than likely. And then we're looking for, I want to find where this, okay. Okay. I think, don't quote me on this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that is the one gig Again, I'll get you a shot. A one gig of the GDDR, well, the just not G, uh, DDR3 RAM that's helping with the system operations. 
And that would make sense because we have what appears to be, yes, what appears to be our south bridge here the, on this side of APU. And this would manage things like your hard drive. So when the SATA comes in, it would convert and it would move to there. We also have our, our WLAN or our network card there. And you can pretty much tell right away because all the antennas run right off of there. And that is, that's, this is actually a pretty, pretty compact board. I'm actually shocked to be honest for what it does. I am very surprised. And let's see, USB is there. Here's HDMI. There should be some kind of converter. Here's our HDMI scalar chip here. That's responsible for images going out, whether it be to talk to the TV or scale images in general. Um, the compound, they were actually hefty. They were very heavy handed with their compound. You can see here, it actually spews out from the sides of the die. So that is uh, that is pretty good. Um, I'm you know this isn't bad. This is not a bad setup. So with that, guys, I'm gonna put this back together, and that way, because last time you guys said I probably took it apart and it didn't work, I'm gonna put it back together so you guys see that it does still work. This other side has to come off. That has to be what's happening here. I must be messing this up. Somehow this other side comes off. I think it just pops off actually, now that I'm looking at it, because it's trying to pop off now. It does. Are you serious? Man, I could just pop this off a while ago and been fine. Yep. Ugh. All right, guys, so in this case, I went the dumb route, to be completely honest with you guys, but this works. I can show you more of it, I guess. There we go. That's the way I was supposed to get in there, and I go the complete wrong way, but that's how you learn. That's how you learn, guys. Learn by doing. So this is our power supply. Makes sense why I was having such a hard time getting the board back in. <laughs> Usually you got to take the power supply out, and then it, then it plugs into the board. But you know what? I went the long way to get here, so that's fine. You guys just get to see more of the PS4 Pro. There's my two antennas, by the way. There's two more antennas there. There you go. Oops. Oh, now it's falling out. Now it wants to fall out. Okay, I take it back. The heat sink's not very big. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. It is not a large heat sink, sadly. And I can't get this out now because there's still a screw that's holding it together, I think. Oh, no, I'm wrong. There we go. So, the heat sink, not very big. It's actually a pretty small heat sink, unfortunately. It's roughly the same size as what the PS4's heat sink is. On um, the regular PS4, that is. So, I'm a little disappointed with that, but that's fine. Fan, same deal, it's about the same size. It's not, not much different, but. Okay, so the power supply though, I'm looking at this. Power supply is much larger. This is a big power supply actually from the original PS4's power supply. It does look like it overhangs a little bit, so that might be also why, although up here it is pretty sturdy. So, all right, this is good because now I can uh, put this together a lot easier. Sweet, all right, good. Now that I got that out and everything, I can now put it back together, reverse. Also, guys, if your PS4 ever gets loud, you want to take your heatsink out because right in here, dust always gets stuck right there, and that's why it always gets loud. So take it apart down to the heatsink, and you can make it not be loud again and probably breathe a lot better. So, All right, now I'm going to very quickly put this back together for you guys, so I will fast forward a lot of this. Uh, that way you can see that, yes, this does still work, and I don't have to keep it here for like two hours. <laughs>
All right, guys, it's all back together. It's all done. Uh, no camera tricks here, though. I'm not going to do that thing where people cut after they put something back together and then probably test it, fix it, do whatever they got to do. Uh, it's just going to be straight up. No camera cuts. I'm going to take the camera down. I'm going to show you guys that it still works after taking it all the way apart down to the motherboard, put it back together. Some people had questions in my other video. Did it still work or anything? Yes, this will still work. I haven't even turned it on. I know it's going to work. So let me... Uh, Plug this in. I'll take this camera down and see if I can give you guys a good picture of it. I can just quick release it and point it at the TV. So let me plug that in. Let me switch this TV over to HDMI. And I'm just going to grab this guy real quick. Oh, of course, it's hard from this side. Go. All right, here we go. No camera tricks or anything. This is HDMI. Let's uh, let's hit this guy real quick. Eject. I think I left Kingdom Hearts in there actually. There you go. Still works. Of course it does. I think some of you guys have some doubts that I've never taken stuff apart before. Oh yeah, no screws left over or anything, so that's a good sign as well. Here's my controller. Let's sync it up. There you go. Synced up. Boom. There you go. And that's the PS4 Pro, guys. This this episode for TechWave. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a, had fun taking a look at the inside of the PS4 Pro. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.